Introduced in summer 23 and launched in spring 24, Prompt Builder, formerly Prompt Studio, allows every admin to become a skilled prompt engineer. This tool makes it easy to create, test and refine prompts, even for those without technical expertise. A good prompt is clear, concise and free of technical jargon, using everyday language to encourage natural conversation. Effective prompts set a specific context or role for the AI model, such as acting as a customer support agent or a marketing executive. To create the best prompts, experimenting with different styles and gathering user feedback is essential. Consistency in writing style and clearly separating context from instructions ensures reliable responses. By following these guidelines, admins can leverage AI to improve workflows and customer interactions. The following five prompt templates will help you get started, providing a foundation for crafting effective and impactful prompts. Nudge for follow-up. The first prompt we're going to go through is a nudge for follow-up. This prompt template helps a sales executive create a personalized follow-up email to a prospect who hasn't responded to a previous message. It uses input variables to automatically insert specific details about the sender, recipient and product, ensuring the email is tailored and relevant. Here's how it works. We start off with the role and personalization. This defines the sender's role and personalizes the email with the names and company details of both the sender and the recipient. Next, we have context and instructions. This provides clear instructions on structuring the email, including addressing the recipient by their first name, avoiding common well wishes at the beginning of the email, and focusing on following up regarding a specific product. Then there is an encouraging response, which guides the sales executives to indirectly encourage the recipient to respond by offering to address any questions or concerns. Next is our call to action, which concludes with a clear call to action asking the recipient to attend a short meeting and provide a placeholder for the meeting time to be personalized later. And lastly, we have a subject line, which instructs the generation of a subject line that is likely to increase the open rate, ensuring it is relevant to the email's content. By following these instructions, the templates ensure that the follow-up email is professional, personalized, and effective in prompting a response from the prospect. Are you looking for the latest insights to turbocharge your Salesforce instance? We've partnered with IBM for the last few years to launch their State of Salesforce report, an overview on the latest trends in the ecosystem and how they impact your org. This year, the trends that were revealed are definitely not ones to miss, with even more telling insights than last year. I recommend everyone in the ecosystem to read the report and you can download it for free at salesforcebend.com forward slash IBM or you can click on the link in the comments. The next prompt template is a lead summary. This prompt template generates a concise and formatted HTML summary of a lead record without using any CSS or code block formatting. It ensures the output is well structured and relevant, only including meaningful data. Here's how it works. We start off with input data and structure, which uses input data such as the lead's name, company, job title, creation date, lead source, status, lead score, and activities. This then generates an HTML summary with sections titled summary, status, and activities. Next, we have our summary section. This includes a clickable title link into the lead's record URL and summarizes key details about the lead, such as name, company, job title, creation date, and lead source. We then have our status section, which includes the current status of the lead and the lead score if provided. Omit this section if values or placeholders are not provided. Next, we have our activities section, which summarizes the lead's activities and meetings, mentions the last meeting date if no upcoming meetings are scheduled. Lastly, we have our formatting rules, this includes various fins such as omitting sections without relevant data, using bold headings wrapped in tags, adding descriptions that are concise, in the third person, and limited to three sentences per paragraph, among other things. Using these details, the final output is formatted as HTML rich text, creating a clear, professional, and easy to read summary of the lead record. We now have a summarize open cases for an account prompt template. 
This prompt template helps a support representative create a concise summary of all open cases for a specific account, following strict instructions for clarity and brevity. Here's how it works. You're a support representative summarizing open cases for accounts. When asked to summarize, follow these instructions. Summarize the open case in one paragraph no longer than 500 characters. Mention the number of open cases and describe the case issues. Use clear, concise and straightforward language in the active voice. Avoid filler words, redundant language and phrases. Include information from... Remember, do not attribute any positive or negative traits in the summary. Our fourth prompt template will be really popular across sales teams, and that's a deal summary. This prompt template generates a concise and well-structured HTML rich text summary of a deal record based on provided data, with specific formatting and content guidelines. Here's a breakdown. First up, input data. This uses data about the deal, such as its name, associated account, amount, close date, stage, next steps, risks, and related records. Next, differentiation based on deal status. Here we want to differentiate between open and closed deals, including sections for summary, contacts, activities, risks, and next steps for open and deals, and including only summary and contact section for closed deals. We then have our section inclusion criteria, where we exclude sections or keys without related name value pairs, and also exclude placeholder values, for example, provide. Next are our formatting instructions, where we set instructions for headings, summary section, and contacts, activities, risks, and next steps. Finally, we have our content guidelines. The guidelines specify concise descriptions in the third person with active voice. Important items are italicized. Dates follow the month, date, year format, and monetary values include currency symbols. Numbers below 10 are spelled out. Overdue close dates are noted if passed. Opportunity scores above 33 are excluded, while scores below 33 are noted as a risk. Deal pushouts are mentioned as a risk if greater than zero. Using these details, generate an HTML rich text output that summarizes the deal record. Our last prompt template is a follow-up text message for a customer case. This flex prompt template helps a customer service agent generate a concise text message to a customer regarding an issue with their order. The template ensures the message is clear, direct, and within 60 words. Here's a breakdown. First up, we have agent and recipient information, which dynamically inserts the agent's and customer's names from the case data. Next is purpose, where the agent follows up with the customer to ask for more details about a problem with their order. We then have instructions for generating the text message, which includes the message must not be longer than 60 words, using clear, concise, and straightforward language in the active voice, and avoiding filler words, redundant language, and phrases. Next up is required information to include, including a description of the issue, an AI-generated summary of the case, and a reason for the issue. Last but not least, we have our call to action. Here we ask the customer to confirm that the provided information is accurate and offer to assist the customer immediately. Salesforce's Prompt Builder empowers admins to create effective prompts without needing technical expertise. Key learnings include the importance of clear, concise language and the necessity of setting a specific context for AI models. The tool encourages experimentation and user feedback to refine prompts. The provided templates, such as for follow-up emails, lead summaries, open case summaries, deal summaries and customer service messages, demonstrate how well-crafted prompts can enhance workflows and improve customer interactions. These templates serve as a solid foundation for admins to build upon, ensuring professional, personalized, and impactful communications.